Hi everybody and welcome back to Erin's Tea. Today's episode is going to be a company called I Heart Teas. And if you've been following me on their Facebook page, you would have known that I want to spend the next little while focusing on the little guy in the tea world. The companies that are run by independents, that have just as much heart and soul and good quality teas as some of the larger guys out there. So today's uh, th this episode is actually going to be all about I Heart Teas. So Rachel and I kind of met on Steepster, and that's a virtual social networking site for tea lovers, and you can review teas on there, and you can add them to your cupboard. It's kind of neat. And she's also on Twitter, so we've been talking back and forth, and she actually launched um, a few new handcrafted teas. She's been doing blending for many, many years, and she's relaunching some of new handcrafted blends. So she sent me two samples. Um, one is Strawberry Island, which is a black tea. It's got strawberry, coconut, and vanilla. And the other one is Raspberry Apricot Green Tea Delight. So um, I'm looking forward to trying these again. I had them the other night just to see what they tasted like. and. She doesn't put the brewing instructions on the actual packages, but she does have them on her site, iHeartTeas.com. It's a site hosted on Tea Trade, which is also another awesome site to connect with tea lovers. Um, so with black tea, I always do it boiling water between four and seven minutes, and I used one teaspoon. So let's go ahead and smell it. Mmm, this smells really good. You can definitely smell the coconut and the strawberry and the vanilla. You can definitely smell them all. So let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm. This is really good. If you have had uh, David's Tea's Fantasy Island, this is definitely comparable. It's got a little bit of a different taste because they use raspberry and she's using strawberry in this one. So it's it's still good. Like it's very um, very tropical. I, I definitely love this tea. It's really awesome. I haven't added milk to it because I wanted to just taste it full out just to see what it actually tastes like without milk. Mmm, but it's it's definitely you can you can tell it's high quality tea. And the other one is the green tea with raspberry and apricot. And I made this the other night and I oversteeped it. When you oversteep green tea, it either bitters or gets sour. So when I went on her site, I wanted to see what other people had been steeping it at. And um, most, she recommends two minutes, and I had done three. So it was definitely oversteeped. So let's go ahead and try it again. I've used 82 degree water, and I used one teaspoon, and I've been steeping it for two minutes, right on the dot. So let's go ahead and smell it. Mmm. You can definitely smell the raspberry and ap apricot. It's really, really light scent. Um, so I don't think, last time when I tried it wasn't tart, so let's go ahead and try it again. Mmm. It's really nice. It doesn't have a tart taste. Um, sometimes I find when there's raspberry in tea, depending on the quality of it, it can taste quite medicinal, like cough syrup back in the 80s. Um, but it has a really nice raspberry flavor to it, and it's just really light. It's not overpowering or anything. It's really good. So if you're looking for a really nice, light green tea to add to your collection, that's really, really awesome. I think that would be really good ice, too, even in the summertime. So uh, if you are on Twitter, you can follow Rachel at iHeartTeas. And check out her website. She also does some um, scented oils that she sent me a, a sample of as well. And she does soaps and a whole bunch of stuff. And what's awesome about her is she has handcrafted, customized teas for people. If they've asked and she can make it happen, she does it. So definitely check her out. And until next time, that's tea to me.